The Adobe In-N-Out Mexican restaurant has been a West Side staple since 1969. Recently, the owner announced that the flagship store will be moving from here on Fulton Street to a half mile north on Bridge Street. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? Adobe In-N-Out owner Spencer Borzma's grandfather started the business over 50 years ago when he opened the first Adobe across the street. He appreciated the Mexican culture and loved the food. Pulling from experiences through his travel, he came upon uh, the, the recipe for chips and all of our products. So wet burritos, uh, homemade tortilla chips has kept us in business for over 50 years. I think he, he was spot on with what, what the public wanted. They still make their chips fresh every day along with guacamole and their homemade taco sauce. Borsma says to keep growing the restaurant, it was time to make some changes. The biggest will be to close the Fulton Street location and move a half mile north to the former El Sombrero building. I'm, I'm excited to, to be over uh, on Bridge Street and to continue to serve our customers but grab a new, uh, new demographic as well. He plans on keeping the new location open late to take advantage of the bar crowd on the street. So we get a lot of walking traffic from all the uh, concerts and everything going on in the downtown area. I'm hoping with the Bridge Street transition, we'll be able to bring back the, some of the late night menu items and um, stay, increase our hours with that. Coming number one, beef soft, order up. Borsma also plans on building a new takeout only adobe on Lake Michigan Drive in Standale and rebranding all the restaurants as Adobe Mexican Kitchen. We're a staple of the west side. We've been around a long time. Um, it was, uh, I, I'm adamant about staying on the west side. I feel like I just saw an opportunity on the Bridge Street site there. Adobe plans to have the Sandale location open by June and have the Bridge Street restaurant open by the end of summer. In Grand Rapids, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.